Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Wanted to reach out with a quick tip about internships. Is there still time to get an internship? Is it too late? Did you miss the boat and not get anyone, uh, get an opportunity? Well, I wanna to talk to you today about I don't think it's too late. And here are a few reasons why. My name is Beth and I am the founder of Next Grade Step and we help guide college students and recent grads to landing that first job out of college. So here we are, it's the third week in April and a lot of students want to have an internship for the summer, but they feel that they might've missed the boat. So can you get an internship? Depends on your expectations. If you are looking for a big company and looking for a large rotation program that will cycle you through different departments for either finance, manufacturing, those businesses interview for internships in the September, October, November timeframe. They usually have their interns set for the following summer by the fall. So if that is your expectation, I'd say you might be a little late, yes. But however, there are a lot of companies that still need interns right now. And here are a few things that you can do to help you even in these next few weeks to a month or so to land that internship. The first thing to do is before you leave college is to maximize the contacts that you have at school. You want to talk to, first of all, all of your professors, especially those in your major. If you have uh, your, your marketing major or finance or art, it doesn't matter. Your professors are industry experts and they have lots of contacts in the field that you potentially want to go into. Talk to them, let them know that you're looking for an opportunity. The other thing you wanna do is maximize the career center. Some students go, some have not, but the career center will get employers that are looking to hire interns and sometimes that comes in later in the season. So absolutely go to your career center and check with them to make sure there might be an opportunity for you, whether it's local or near school. The other thing to do is make sure you let your family and friends know what you're looking for. But here's the catch. If you tell a friend or a family member and say, well, I'm looking for an internship and I'll do anything, it's hard for them to know how to direct you or where to place you or refer you. However, if you say, I'm really good at writing skills and I've done some blogging and I know how to do graphic design and I'd really like to get into digital marketing, that will help someone to direct you and know where to go and where to refer you for an opportunity. So just be clear when you're speaking with friends and contacts. And that leads to another point. Alumni are a great resource to make contacts. Alumni want to help fellow grads and students just like themselves and get them into the marketplace. So alumni will also have a lot of resources and they also could be in a field that maybe you can even shadow and talk to them to understand what they're doing. So there's from a, from a first standpoint, you know, network with your professors, your career center, family, friends, alumni, but let's say you've done all that. Now, what do you do? Well, I want you to think about thinking local. Local in terms of nearby your campus or local to your home. There are many companies that might be small or medium-sized companies that need help. And sometimes they haven't thought through it yet. So if you come back home and you wanted to do some digital marketing or social media help, well, think about the local uh, coffee place or maybe there's a local retailer or maybe there's a local accounting firm that if you approach them and say, I'm looking to provide some support and gain this kind of experience, a lot of people will be quite receptive to help. Now, if you have the ability to afford to work for free, that's great, or maybe you can do something part-time, but reach out to people that are local to you, either at your campus, if you're staying on campus this summer, or in your local town, because there's a lot of resources where people just haven't thought about it, or they'd love to have an intern and be able to give you the experience. And that's what internships are about. Internships are about getting skills and experience that help you further in deciding what you want to do, as well as showing employers as you progress through school that you've had these experiences and you know how to handle different situations. 
So really think local from that standpoint. And the last thing to think about is potentially working remote. So to, for the example before, if you have some good writing skills or you know how to analyze spreadsheets, companies will hire you maybe if you're working from home and just helping them remotely. So maybe you're not in that live business environment, but you are still having an opportunity to look at and work on jobs that, that will give you a skill set, even if it's from home. So the overall answer is, is it too late to get an internship? No. Do you still need to work at it and potentially manage your expectations? Yes, you do. But try, even if you make these contacts and maybe it's not as perfect as you think or doesn't give you as much time, all the contacts and connections that you build over the summer start to help you even as you progress into the next school year. So if you're a rising junior or a rising senior, you need to start thinking about now, even all the things that you can do to help you in pursuing that junior year internship or that job after graduation, because that's going to happen in the fall. And you want to try to get some experiences that happen over the summer. So I hope that helps. I encourage you to still look for those internships. You need to reach out to people. You need to call them on the phone. I know that's not always the first choice of a lot of students to call people up, but you need to make that phone call because people will be receptive to it. So wishing you the best of luck in getting that internship. I cannot wait to hear about all of your successes. And if you'd like to learn more about how we help college students in landing the internship or first job, please click on the link at nextgreatstep.com. I hope you have a great day.